guys, hope everybody is doing well. I am doing a makeup tutorial on this look today. It's nothing too crazy, it's just a bit of a warm look with a um, pop of color for the lips. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to try something a little different. Roll up my sleeves for this. So we are going to start out by putting foundation on our skin. We're gonna go in with one of my favorites right now, the Fenty Beauty. So I'm gonna start out with their Pro Filter um, Primer. And I'm going to put three pumps on my face. I think I mentioned it to you guys before. I don't know why I'm really into the Fenty foundation right now. I've been using that a lot lately. I'm starting to find a huge appreciation for it again. So I'm going to go in with this foundation. And this one is in the color 240 for the Pro Filter. And I'm just going to put on my the palm of my hand because that's always easiest for me. And I usually use about uh, two pumps, I want to say, using my MAC 130 brush to apply it to my face. Now we're going to go and blend it out with our Beauty Blender. We've got the foundation on, so we've got a nice even canvas. Now I'm going to go clean my hands and we can move it along. I'm going to go in with some concealer to prep my lids. Becca, what is it? Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer, and this is in the color Latte. So that's helped kind of set a base for our lids. We go in with Anastasia, the Brow Wiz, and the Brow Definer. So the Wiz to kind of shape the brows, and then the definer to fill them. Let's go in with Modern Renaissance. We're gonna use Tempura, the first one out of this palette, and our smudge brush from Real Techniques to highlight the brow bone. Let's also highlight the inner portion of our eye area. Then I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Round Crease Brush and just fill in the whole lid area too. I guess you could just use the one brush. So now we're gonna define the crease. So I'm gonna go in with Warm Taupe and that one's out of the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm gonna use that to define it. Going in with the Frankation palette from Dosa Colors, the Desi X Katie one, I'm gonna use the first color out of this palette, Basic. and focus this color on the lid. You know what, I'm gonna go in with the round crease brush. The other one's a little too thin. Then I'm gonna go in with that middle color there and warm up the crease area a bit more. You don't need a lot of this color, but if you just wanna warm it up a bit, you can just use a little, because it's quite pigmented. Then I'm going to go in with that darker color, jeans, and just a little bit to deepen up the crease a bit more. Now I'm going to use my clean Real Techniques brush, and this is number 200, just to blend it all out. Just helps allow for a soft blend. I'm going to go in with this MAC Mariah Carey brush, I'm not too sure what it is, and use a bit more basic just to brighten up the lid. Now let's go in with our Clinique eyeliner. This one's called Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. It's in the color black, obviously. So I'm gonna use that to line the top lash line. It's gonna be a subtle line. We're gonna go in with our mascara. I'm using this one, Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And this is just in the color black. It's pretty thick stuff, so be careful when you're putting this one on. Okay, we're gonna do a few coats of mascara so this will get thicker as this video moves along. We're gonna go in and finish our concealing on the under eyes. The nose, highlight the forehead. Do it here. I think we're good. 
Let's blend it out with our beauty blender. Go in with Kat Von D Shade and Light. And I'm gonna use these two colors to contour my face a bit. I'm gonna use this rounded crease brush to contour my nose a bit. And I'll go over with this brush just to blend it all. So I don't want it to look too perfected. I'm gonna go back in with Modern Renaissance and use the warm taupe color again. This one is the Precision Smudge Brush. I'm gonna use that just to line the bottom lash line. I'm gonna use a bit of that Chains on the ends of the lash line, bottom lash line. Warm up that part. Okay, now we are gonna go in with our Laura Mercier, this one, the Loose Setting Powder Translucent. We're gonna put that on any areas we wanna bake. So definitely the under eye area. Okay, I usually just use this Sephora old um, blush brush to dust it all off. For highlighter, I think I'm going to mix between bubbly and dripping in gold. Now I'm going to run in with an oldie and a goodie. This one is Sweet Cocoa from MAC. Run through with MAC lip liner in the color red. Now we're going to go in with this Ciate London Liquid Velvet Lipstick and this one is in the color Risqué. I love this color. Brows, we're going to go in with our brow gel by Anastasia in the color Granite. Okay you guys, and here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I can't wait to film the next tutorial. So if you guys have any ideas of looks that you want me to do, please let me know down below. I'm trying to think of what other kind of videos I should do. I was thinking of maybe doing a video on hair products that might be something good just because with this coarse hair. I've come across some pretty cool products that have worked really well for me lately. I'm trying to improve on that kind of stuff just because I want healthy hair and you know, I've come across some good stuff that I I'd like to recommend to you guys as well so that might be my next video but if you guys have any suggestions please leave them down below I totally appreciate it and yeah I think that's pretty much it I love you guys and I hope you guys have a beautiful day and please make sure to like the video if you enjoy it please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos please leave your comments down below please leave any questions that you have down below I love it when you guys like the video and you guys more importantly when you guys give feedback actually that's always like really cool for me to hear but yeah, take care. Bye. Love you.